LEGO Ninjago's fourth year was 2014 with Rebooted, which was the third regular season of the show, and in that wave there are only nine regular sets. In this video, I am going to rank every LEGO Ninjago Rebooted set from 2014, and I'm not including the polybag. Number 9 is Hover Hunter. It comes with two minifigures. Cole with the green techno blade, and the techno suits aren't my favorites, but they were the first to use the half mask and show the hair, which I do like. And a Nindroid drone, which are villains I like alright, but not so much the ones without the mask. The Hover Hunter is a neat smaller villain vehicle design with the saw blade in the front that spins when it moves forward, and flick fire missiles, but looks to be lacking a bit for me. Number 8 is Overborg Attack. It comes with two minifigures, Lloyd and Cyrus Borg, in the Overborg design. This set though is the standard generic dual bike set that Ninjago does a lot. Lloyd's motorcycle is just fine and nothing special, but the Overborg's is more unique with a tread, saws that can spin when moved forward, and the Overborg's crawler that can separate from it. And it comes with a very small side build of a section of road that acts as a ramp with a fire hydrant and trash can. Number 7 is Destructoid. It comes with three minifigures, Zane with the blue techno blade, General Cryptor, my favorite of the Nindroids with the more bulky armor, and Mindroid, who is a pretty funny character. The Destructoid is a weird mech vehicle on treads with blades in the front that can move up and down when it moves forward, and can spin around above that with arms holding a sword and a saw that can also spin around. It also has a pretty neat disc shooting feature by pulling something in the back. This set has a lot of nice features and movement and doesn't look horrible, but it's just not as memorable as some other sets. Number 6 is Nindroid Mech Dragon. It comes with five minifigures, Lloyd, Sensei Garmadon, which is cool to get, Evil Wu, General Cryptor, and a Nindroid Warrior. The main build for the Mech Dragon is a very cool concept being a mechanical dragon, but I don't love it. I think it looks a little messy and stiff in some areas to me. It does have some good features though, like a rubber tip missile on the back, saws that can move and spin, a swinging tail, a jail cell that can be removed, and open space in the middle to hold some figures, with covers that can also be used as gliders for the Nindroids. The other build is Nia's car, which I think I like a bit more, but looks weird and a little incomplete in some spots. And it has some weapons like missiles on the sides that can be fired by pushing the back, which is a neat mechanism that seems inconsistent, and a movable gunner position in the back with a flick fire missile. Number 5 is Thunder Raider. It comes with three minifigures, Jay with the yellow techno blade, Cole, and a Nindroid warrior. The Thunder Raider is a more unique vehicle for Jay with treads on the front and it has hidden missiles on the sides. On its own, it looks empty in the back, but that's because it has the awesome feature to transform and attach Cole's mech to the back, which makes it look better, and Cole's mech on its own looks pretty decent. Both of the vehicles are good, but neither are my favorites, and it also comes with a small laser cannon for the Nindroid. Number 4 is Battle for Ninjago City. It comes with 8 minifigures. Lloyd, Zane with the blue techno blade, and both in stone warrior armor, which are suits I don't love, Jay with the yellow techno blade, Samurai X, the Overlord, which is a cool figure, but not a design I care for, two Nindroid Warriors, and an Android Drone. The build for Ninjago Temple is fantastic. The exterior is beautiful with ornate designs, including a dragon head near the top. The only reason it isn't number one is because the top three sets are some of my favorites in the entire theme. The exterior also has hidden weapons that can flip around in the rock face at the bottom, hatches in the roof, one hiding a rubber tip missile, two catapults at the top, and a unique disc shooting feature above the door. The interior also has some decent stuff including a jail cell, treasure, tools, a kitchen, and a feature to pop off a figure near the entrance, which seems a little inconsequential. It also comes with an entrance arch, a basic tree that can be ziplined to from the roof, a slate glider for Zane with flickfire missiles, and the Overlord's walker that can open up and has a spring-loaded missile, which looks well built but still kind of clunky looking to me. Number 3 is Ninja Copter. It comes with four minifigures, Damaged Zane, which is a nice variant with the blue techno blade, and his Falcon, Pixel, a good new character, a Nindroid Warrior, and a Nindroid Drone. I love the build for the Ninja Copter with its more unique futuristic design with the propeller in the middle and rubber tip missile cannons on the sides, which looks so cool to me, and has an awesome feature to rotate the propeller and cannons at once. It also has two seats in the cockpit, a jail cell in the back, flickfire missiles on top, and more flickfire missiles that can open up on the sides. The Nindroids also come with a flying vehicle that looks good on its own but can separate into two vehicles, a smaller flyer and a glider. Number 2 is Kai Fighter. It comes with two minifigures, Kai with the red techno blade and General Cryptor. For the Kai Fighter, I always love smaller sleek fighter ships like this, and this one has flickfire missiles and a cool feature to open up the wings by pushing in the back which makes it look faster. And number 1 is X1 Ninja Charger. It comes with three minifigures, Kai with the red techno blade, and two Nindroids, one with a jetpack. 
The build for the X1 Ninja Charger does look oversized, but I love its design with its more modern car look to it. And it's another vehicle with some awesome features, the main one being a feature to launch a motorcycle from the front. The motorcycle itself is basic, but it looks fine and the rest of the set makes up for it. Other features it has are hidden flickfire missiles that can open up on the sides, and a hidden spring-loaded missile turret that can lift up and spin around in the back. For the Nendroids, it comes with this pretty unique hovering vehicle with a big saw blade on the bottom that looks cool, and a drone. So that was my ranking of every LEGO Ninjago rebooted 2014 set. This was a great wave for the theme that was a major step up from the previous wave with some of my favorite vehicle designs. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time. Goodbye.